Do you know what are the three dangerous words that can stop you from becoming an effective leader? And how these words can impact your leadership skills when you want to lead a high performance team? In this video, you will find out. As leaders, they have to uphold certain responsibilities in the organization. For example, in the department, the leaders will need to motivate the team to hit or drive certain KPIs so that the organization can hit the goal. And because they have already reached certain success at the leadership level, the leaders will tend to have certain beliefs, perceptions, values of how to tackling a problem, how to give advice and offer solutions to the team. And as a result, these leaders may use the three dangerous words just to get things done. So what are these three words? The first word is no. Now imagine your subordinate is driving this project. He wants to give you certain opinions, ideas or suggestions. After listening to him, you immediately say, no, I don't think it works because I've tried it before. So let's say if you put in your subordinate shoe, what would you think he would feel? Because when you say no, it immediately put a stop to him that you are right and he's wrong. So you need to be careful if you accidentally use the word no to reply to your subordinate. Now the second word is but. Same scenario, let's say he want to share with you his opinions, his ideas and suggestions of how to drive that project in the direction. And you immediately reply with, sounds like a good idea, but I think it can be better if you do it this way. Now from this sentence, it may seem that you are helping your subordinate by giving your suggestions or opinions, but to him, he may feel unheard. He may feel unmotivated of why you are not listening to him. So by using the word but, it can be also dangerous because sometimes he don't know how the subordinate feel and that matters to him. Now the third word is however. Same scenario, let's say if you reply to a subordinate saying that that's true, however, I think it will eat up my resources. So let's say by replying with this sentence, you are also indirectly telling him that it doesn't work because you are having some reservation. You say the word however. So just to be careful, if you are saying these three dangerous words, no, but, and however, it can indirectly triggers the negative qualifiers to tell your team that you are right, they are wrong. So you need to be mindful if you want to lead your team to drive certain high performance results. I hope this video gives you an idea on why you should avoid these three dangerous words in your conversation with your subordinates or team. Because if you use it wrongly, it may affect your team's morale to drive certain projects to reach the certain targets or KPIs and it will impact your leadership skills. So let's say if you enjoyed this video, please do remember to click on the subscribe button below and turn on the notification bell and leave me a comment to share with me whether you have used any of these three words in your conversation with your team. And how do you do it differently this time? And that's all for now, and I'll see you next time.